Well, some towns got a quick hitting thunderstorm this afternoon. Some locations like Torrington got a couple of thunderstorms this afternoon. In some parts of the state, you got over an inch of rain. But in southeastern Connecticut and the greater Hartford area, not very much. Let's check out Simsbury, though, in uh, northern Connecticut over the last five hours. And you can see that early this afternoon, we had sunshine out. Then along came a quick hitting uh, shower. And now things are starting to dry out once again as the sun angle is getting low in the sky. All right, here's early warning pinpoint Doppler. We have a heavy shower around Canaan and Falls Village, but there's no threat of severe weather with this. In fact, Litchfield County, you're out of the uh, watch area right now. Otherwise, we have a couple of uh, randomly scattered showers in central and eastern portions of Connecticut. But pretty much uh, the severe thunderstorm threat is over, even though technically there's a watch in effect for portions of northern Connecticut until 8. All right, there's our ICAM in uh, Middletown showing that the sun is out shining brightly. Middletown, you got hit by a pretty good shower this afternoon. And there's New London where you've been uh, pretty much dry all afternoon long with a nice wind coming in from off the waters of Long Island Sound. It did manage to get up to 80 at the Roosevelt Middle School in New Britain right now it's 76 and this is what we're feeling right now the dew point 68 means there's a lot of moisture in the air you feel it but the good news is it's not going to be nearly this humid tomorrow however add about 10 degrees to that temperature that's going to be our high for tomorrow right now it's in the 70s for most of us 60s in southeastern portions of the state including Norwich coming in at 69 degrees and the humidity is high but a cold front is moving across the state as we speak. That's why we had these severe thunderstorm warnings uh, for uh, several locations during the course of the afternoon. More showers off to our west. They will tend to die out as they head in our direction this evening. And it does cool down a little bit as you go off to our north and west. Temperatures in Syracuse and Buffalo are 62 right now. And we look at the humidity. It also drops off to our west where the dew point goes into the 50s. So whenever you have dew points in the 60s, it's muggy. When it gets up to 70 or higher, it's oppressive. When it's in the 50s in June, that is fairly comfortable. That's what we're going to be dealing with tomorrow. Here's early warning future cast where we show you tomorrow's weather today. The main chance for a shower in eastern Connecticut at 7 p.m. Otherwise, midnight. The sky is uh, mainly clear across the state. The sun is shining brightly. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The same is true around midday. And as we go into Wednesday evening, we're going to keep it dry. The next chance for a shower or thunderstorm will come on Thursday in the afternoon, especially. So temperatures later on tonight. In the 50s and lower 60s, there could be some patchy fog developing, especially in areas where it did rain today. And then your highs for tomorrow range from 76 in New London to 86 degrees in Hartford and uh, Enfield with a southwesterly wind developing tomorrow. Thursday, we could hit 90 with that chance for an afternoon thunderstorm at a few spots. Then Friday looks dry, partly to mostly sunny, very warm, 88. Saturday could be a turbulent day with showers and storms, 82, but Sunday looks good, sunny and 85. The humidity won't be bad. Maybe a shower or a storm early next week. And look at, again, by Tuesday, we could be right up there around 90 degrees. For the shoreline tomorrow, a fairly comfortable 80 degrees with a nice breeze.